Good afternoon. My name's Kyle. I'm a marine ecologist. And today I'd like to tell you the story about how an abundance of darkness helped me see the light. Now, about a year ago, I found myself diving on a coral reef in the central Philippines. It was the dead of night, and we just hopped into the water, laid out our transect line, and I started to swim along, and my flashlight blinked and went out. This was more of an inconvenience than anything else. Like any good diver, I have a backup light. So I pulled out my backup light, flicked it on, and started swimming again. Within about 10 seconds, that light also flickered and went out. Bad batteries, I guess. This was a bit more of a problem. Now, as I was fiddling with my light and trying to get it working, my dive buddy had swam uh, down the transit line, and I all of a sudden found myself in this inky blackness that just surrounded me. And it's really difficult to explain how truly black the ocean can be at night. It's pretty disorienting. So let me rewind for a second and explain to you how I got there. So like many of you, I'm crazy about fish. I think they are super cool, and I'm interested in ways to manage them and ways to protect them. Now, one of the ways that we do this is use marine protected areas or marine reserves. Uh, and there's been a lot of studies that have shown these huge uh, recoveries of invertebrates, in or of uh, fish in places where uh, we don't fish. Now, when I arrived in the Philippines, I was there to do something a little bit different. I was there to look at the invertebrates. So things like crab and octopus and squid. And look at how they recover in these marine reserves. And I remember arriving in the Philippines and it was, it was dry season and I had all of my scuba gear and field equipment. I remember just sweating so much as I, as I hauled all of this gear from minibus to jeepney uh, to boat uh, through mud that came up to my knees and along paths through the forest as I made, made my way to the various villages. Uh, and I finally found myself in a place called Pinamgo. Now this is a small village off the north coast of Bohol in the central Philippines and we started diving in the marine reserve there. And we got into the water and it was incredibly warm, uh, there was lots of fish, there was tons of coral, but there weren't any of these invertebrates. Well, there, there were a few. There was the odd crab, uh, I think I saw one in one cucumber, but for the most part they were, they were absent. As you can probably tell, this, this would have been hugely frustrating. I've just come all the way across the world, and I've jumped in the water, and I can't find my study species. What the heck, man? So, what was also really puzzling was that uh, these creatures make up about 30 to 40 percent of the protein diet in the region. So where are they? Then I started to think, well, lots of animals come out at night on land. So we decided to strap on our scuba gear and jump onto the reef uh, in night, in the nighttime. Which kind of leads me to my flashlights going out 10 feet down the transect line. And as I floated there, waiting for my buddy to return from the other end of the transect line, I started hearing noises. Snaps, crackles, pops. No, it was not breakfast cereal. This was life in the ocean. There was tons of creatures all around me. I couldn't see them, but as soon as that light went off, I started listening to the noises. Now, the next night, when I went back onto the reef with better batteries, uh, I started looking around, and I'd seen a reef at night, but I'd never really looked. And what I saw was just amazing. There was crabs, there was uh, sea cucumbers, there was shrimp, they were everywhere. And I like to think of it as a city block. With the corals as the buildings, uh, the urchins would be, say, the window cleaners, letting the light in. The crabs would be uh, mobile recycling depots. And the, uh, the cleaner shrimp, well, they would be healthcare workers, uh, cleaning the parasites off of fish. And these creatures are really important. They, they play so many roles in the ecosystems. They are the unsung heroes of the reefs. And like Batman, they come out at night. And they're really important. We need to start paying attention to them. And to reach that point, I had to have my, ba my batteries fail, an abundance of darkness, this orchestra, this cacophony of sound 
uh, to finally see the gorgeous invertebrate light. I was a convert. Thank you.